Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today I am so excited to bring you another pretty unique roster for RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.6. A little sneak preview of the Egyptian roster. Yes, the Egyptians. Now, there's plenty of stuff to go through before we start going through the roster on these guys. First of all, how this faction's actually going to work in game, and then, of course, the history. So, without further ado, let's talk about how you're going to be able to access this faction when you play the game. First of all, though, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, we're on the way to 3,000 subscribers, so that would be fantastic. And thank you very much to everyone else for their continued support. But let's talk about how this faction's gonna work. So you're gonna start as the Ptolemaic Empire, the Ptolemies. And when your cities with native Egyptian culture buildings reach high enough population, you will get a reform event. Once that occurs, you can then recruit Machimoy Phalangites. And the Machimoy are the game's representation of the historical Egyptian natives that the Ptolemies eventually started equipping out in all their armor and training them in the style of of the Greek phalanx and all that sort of thing. Now, they did this because they relied heavily at the start on their native sort of Macedonian colonists that were there and mercenaries in their armies. However, after a while, you know, those numbers started to dwindle and they needed more and more troops. So they started kitting out the native Egyptians. Eventually, the Ptolemaics trained so many Machimoy that they started a rebellion to try to reinstate a native Egyptian government. And they eventually lost. But it was a long and brutal war. So when you play the Ptolemies, if you recruit too many Machimoy Phalangites, a rebellion event will trigger where all the native Egyptian cities will rebel to the Egyptian faction. When that occurs, the player will be given an option to either continue the Ptolemaic Empire and take back Egypt, or to play as Egypt and restore their independence against the Ptolemaic Empire. So a pretty cool one. Obviously, there's lots of things you could do in-game to either make your run as the Egyptians or your run as the Ptolemies uh, easier or harder, depending on what you want to do. You know, if you want to start as the Egyptians, just train a load of the Machimoy, and, you know, you'll have a pretty decent army to start with. So, yeah. Sounds pretty interesting and pretty awesome, and there's a lot of cool things coming with version 0.6 that I can't go into that are very similar to this. But let's now talk about the history of the roster. So the most significant rebellion of the Egyptians against Ptolemaic rule was the Great Revolt of 205 to 18 BC, during which the Ptolemaic kings lost large parts of Upper Egypt in a grueling guerrilla war. Under the reign of Pharaoh Hirgonophor and later on his successor Chaonophris, the Egyptians aimed at establishing a new native dynasty that would end foreign rule, which had largely, pre largely prevailed since the arrival of the Persians under Cambyses in the late 6th century BC. In the event, the Egyptians would eventually be overcome. However, and astonishingly, it would take until 1954 and the controversial Gamal Abdel Nasser for a native Egyptian to become ruler of Egypt once again. The units the Egyptian faction is using are based on various sources, ranging from Papiri, who described the Machimoy, the largely Egyptian units who fought under the Ptolemies, to pre-Ptolemaic depictions of skirmishers and archers with the typical Nubio-Egyptian padded linen vests, to Xenophon, who discussed the armies of rebelling Egyptians and Egyptian mercenaries in the 4th century BC. The emblematic unit of the Egyptians mentioned is almost all of these sources are the so-called long spearmen who bore very long spears and huge shields, probably the biggest shields that they have in the whole mod. Because of those massive shields, some don't wear any body armor or headgear at all because they just rely on those massive shields to try and protect them. They will have the ability to form skill trun formation, which Xenophon talks about in some detail, Together with the Machimoy pikemen, who also have an elite regiment, the Epilectoi, this gives the Egyptians a strong set of melee infantry that can hold their ground. The reformed swordsmen perfectly add to these as an attacking option, and the famous archers are some of the deadliest in the mod. But Machimoy cavalry is light, and therefore a little bit of a weak spot. 
So guys, without further ado, let us get into the units, the lovely Egyptian units. I think you'll all agree, already this is one of the most interesting factions that are going to be available in uh, version 0.6. I can't wait to play these guys and to test how it works, how everything works. So let's have a look. We've got our Egyptian slingers. <laughs> Three morale, seven defense for the boys. Yes. Four melee attack and four missile attack with a missile range of 140 and ammo of 32. Pretty standard. And again, we've got this very unique look on these boys. If you've seen the Ptolemaic review, a lot of these, you know, textures and stuff will be familiar. But these guys look awesome, don't they? It's great to see the native Egyptians represented here. Very cool indeed. This guy, this guy's li listening to, you know, listening to some Iron Maiden or something. He's like, yes, yes! Or his favorite sports team's just run out. Um, I mean, I guess back then, he's just happy to be alive, you know. He's like, I, <laughs> I had a cut on my arm last week, and I survived! Yes! I didn't die! Fantastic. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically the Egyptian slingers are pretty standard, similar to the Greek slingers in that they're not great, um, and they'll do fine. They're going to be your garrison unit in a lot of cases. So let's have a look at the Egyptian skirmishers. Pretty standard, very similar to the Akontistai. Six morale, six melee attack, nine missile attack with their seven javis and 12 total defense, of which only one is armor. So, as you can see, these uh, padded vests, not exactly great protection against missiles or anything else sharp, that is. <laughs> you know, great looking Versace, Versace or Gucci vests on, looking great. Um, and a rugby scrum hat there as well. Uh, looking fantastic, but <laughs> doesn't offer a huge amount of protection. So let's have a look at our Machimoy archers. These guys are a really good arch unit. Six missile attack, which is great as usual. 130 missile range and 25 ammo. Five morale, six melee attack as well, but a decent defense of 14, seven of which is armor. So these guys are a good sort of mid-level archer in between, you know, the Greek archers that don't have great defense versus, say, some of the Neocretan archers, that sort of thing. Um, and this guy... <laughs> what's going on? There's two of them. It's like the scene in Greece, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're mooning the enemy. Very uh, little-known fact, guys. That is what the native Egyptians like to do before, before battle. <laughs> they like to, you know, cheer and then moon the enemy, as we can see here, represented in the mod. Historical accuracy, absolutely. Mwah! Mwah! You know, I'm, I'm surprised they even knew that detail. But <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, um, I'm being weird. But yes, fantastic. Nice match my archer unit. Very good. Nice bit of mid-tier archer unit. And I love these vests. Don't they look fantastic? And again, I love the uniqueness that we see uh, within uh, the new uh, Egyptian roster. So let's move on to the infantry. We, of course, have our Egyptian long spearmen, which, as you can see, their shields are absolutely ginormous. Look at the shields and the spears are extremely long, almost phalanx, uh, phalangite-like. Very cool indeed. Very nice. Look how big those shields are. And we've got really nice, cool Egyptian designs on all of the shields as well, as you can see. Very cool shields. Huge shields. But once again, these guys are not wearing armor. Let's have a look at their stats. 13 morale, 10 melee attack, and they get a combat bonus in deserts as well, which, of course, is a, uh, you know, a great addition to them. 32 defense is not bad at all, with an armor of 5, um, defense skill of 19, and a shield of eight. So these guys are not going to die to missiles very quickly, even though they lack a huge amount of armor. Um, but I'd say they're just a little bit worse than your standard Hoplite unit, uh, because normally Hoplites have about 36 defense and 13 melee attack. So these are probably a little bit of a lower tier unit that you're going to use, but don't they look fantastic. Very unique, and these spears look very mean indeed. So let's move on to the uh, Ptolemaic Machiro Foroi, if we come. 
Here they are. Very nice. And again, so unique in their look. They look great, don't they? Really good. Really good. But these guys are sort of Ptolemaic members of the rebellion. So these are the Greek members of the rebellion, which is why you can see different ethnicities involved in here. Different ethnicities of each person, rather than all being a singular, you know, monoculture of ethnicity. Um, so really cool to see that represented as well. And they've got some pretty scary swords on show, as well as some awesome looking shields. And again, these vests look fantastic. Now, this looks more like, you know, something, um, some sort of very, uh, very famous uh, actress or actor would wear down the, uh, down the red carpet. You know, something, something like this. Very nice indeed. Uh, looking very cool. I really do like the look of these guys. I just look, love how unique they are. But let's talk about their stats. Enough waffling on. 14 morale, 10 melee attack, of course, that's 10 melee attack with a sword, so better than a spear, and 31 defense as well. Of course, these guys are um, heavy infantry, so they're not going to be hugely fast, but they're going to have a solid base to, uh, to remain uh, in the fight, and a solid base to fight against other infantry uh, that's very similar as well. So, let's move on to our first phalangite unit, which is the Machimoy phalangites, and again... Don't they look fantastic? Again, we've got the nice mix of Greek-style helms with the padded quilted helms and the padded vests all around them. Look at those. Very cool indeed. We've also got a few people with the uh, the linothorax as well, so that's represented. But instead of the standard linothorax that you see with the, with the Greek nations, these are a padded linothorax to go with the rest of the unit. And again, some very nice designs on the shield. Rest of the shield's nice and bronze as well. So if we look at this unit as a phalangite unit, morale of 14, melee attack of 16, and 32 defense. So when we talk about these guys, obviously, historically, they've just been trained in this method. They weren't trained in these, you know, phalangite unit um, um, methods for many, many years. So... These guys are a little bit worse than your standard Greek phalangite unit. Normally, a Greek phalangite would have 18 or 19 attack, and maybe a little bit more defense as well. So, they're a good, solid phalangite unit. All phalangite units are pretty solid, but these guys are a little bit worse than some of the other phalangite units that you might come across. But, solid looking and a solid unit nonetheless. So, let's have a look at the Machimoy Swordsman. And look how good these guys look. I love the uh, the textures of the leather around these very colorful shields. As well as the... Um, I don't know what you call that. But the thing around their necks just looks stunning. It just adds so much color into this unit. And a lot of uh, variety and diversity of uh, image for each sort of soldier here. Very cool. Indeed. Look how good they look. They just look stunning, don't they? But these guys, again, combat bonus in desert. 14 morale, 12 melee attack, and 31 defense. So just pretty much a better version of the uh, Ptolemaic Machiroi Foroi. These guys are just a better version, basically. And they have a bit more armor and a bit less shield as well. So, you know, decent, decent unit. Going to do well in melee, especially with that 12 melee attack with a sword. They're going to do perfectly well. In a lot of melee. And stand up to Greek Hoplites, Theroporoi. Uh, maybe not an Epilectoi, but it'd be close. It'd be close. So a really nice unit indeed. Very cool. Very cool looking. Love the look of those boys. So now, let's have a look at our Libyan Phalangites. These are the Libyan uh, boyos uh, in the army. Very nice indeed. And these guys have a more standard sort of Greek look. If we uh, look down at them, we can see... Most of them are wearing linothorax, uh, linothoraces, should I say. And they've got the Greek-style shields as well and helms. So although they're Libyan, they're in the Ptolemaic style. But these guys, combat bonus uh, in deserts again. But again, these guys are a bit of a better unit of a phalangite. And they do a bit better than the uh, Machimoy phalangites over here. In terms of their stats, as we can see, just better attack overall. Same morale and same defense, just better attack. So they're just a better version of the Machimoy 
phalangites, and they look awesome once again. I just love these sort of unique rosters that aren't seen anywhere else. And now we come to the epileptoi phalangites. So this is your sort of elite unit of phalangites, not quite as elite as any Agama, but just look how good these guys look. They look glorious. There's a lot of pale yellows and greens that go through the Egyptians. And I do really like that color scheme. Just look how glorious these boys are looking. Very nice indeed. Just these details once again are just crazy. Crazy in this mod. This guy's had enough. He, he's going. Uh, both of them are going actually. And he's trying to stop him. He's like, bro, you can't leave now. We're just about to fight, bro. And he's like, that's why I'm leaving. <laughs> but anyway, um... Yeah, I'm being weird again, aren't I? Um, 15 morale, 17 melee attack, so not quite as good as the Libyans, but a lot better defense. 35 defense this time, so a lot better defense. Again, not quite as good as an Agama unit, but these guys are a solid Phalangite unit. And all the time, Phalangites are very good, guys. Of course, they were very good at the time. <laughs> so again, they're going to be very good in the mod, and all the time, they are very nice. And they look fantastic, don't they? So... Let's move on to the cavalry. A strong you, uh, roster of infantry, I've got to say. So let's move on to the cavalry, which is a little bit weaker. Your sort of weak point is here with the cavalry. And here we have the Egyptian general's bodyguard. And they look fantastic. They look very similar to the Greek general's bodyguard, like we've seen before. But we've got capage, we've got plumage, and we've got horses with feathers on their heads. So we know it's the uh, general's bodyguard unit. 18 morale, 14 melee attack, 14 alt attack, 33 defense, 15 of which is armor, and a 47 charge. In fact, I think that is exactly the same stats as the Greek general's bodyguard. So, uh, pretty similar to the Greek general's bodyguard in a lot of ways uh, there. So, let's have a look at the Matroid Foroid Cavalry. And these guys are your heavy cavalry option, but if we have a look at them... They look really good, don't they? Again, again, I just love the uniqueness of these sort of in, uh, independent factions or the factions with a lot less people, a lot less um, factions in them. So, yeah, again, these uh, padded quilted vests looking very cool indeed. And some big shields on show here. 25 defense, of which 8 is armor and 7 is shield. So they're not going to die to missiles very quickly, but only 10 defense skill. So these guys are definitely not an anti-cav option, guys. Don't use these guys in anti-cav unless you have to. 22 charge, which is fine, but they are spear wielding. Uh, sorry, sword wielding. So of course their charge is not going to be as strong as a lance or spear wielding cavalry unit. 13 morale and 11 melee attack. So these guys are kind of hybrid-ish. They're kind of in the middle. They're not extremely heavy. They're not extremely light. And they're just kind of, you know, mid-tier unit. They're not great, and they're not terrible. So, on to the Machimoy Cavalry, which is your sort of missile cavalry option. And they're pretty similar to the Prodromoy. They just look so cool with their padded vests. <laughs> Looking very nice indeed. Look at these boys. Very cool. And these guys are your uber-light missile cavalry. Missile attack of 9, 10 melee attack, 9 morale, and 13 defense with a 27 charge. So... We have seen the Prodromoi do a lot of damage in battles when you use them correctly, charging around the rear of enemy units. So, again, they can do a lot of damage in battle, but if you like missile cavalry, here is your option for you. And then we come on to the big boys. <laughs> here they are. This guy's just so proud of himself, sat on this elephant here, isn't he? We have the Towered Forest Elephants. Yes, eight hit points, special attack, bonus fighting cavalry, Combat bonus in deserts, frightened nearby enemy, and again, 13 morale, 12 melee attack, but of course they have the special attack which just shreds people, and you've got the archers on the back, 11 missile attack for those guys, are they archers or are they, yeah, they are archers, 11 missile attack for those guys is crazy, these guys, you don't even need them to get into melee, they're going to be shredding people with their arrows, of course, 13 defense, but that is 13 defense times 8, so, you know, it's a lot. It's 104 defense, which is a lot, guys. So, these guys, of course, everyone knows we're elephants. Everyone knows they're going to be good. They're going to be very strong. And then we actually do have one more unit. I just need to click play so that we can go and see it because it's not quite integrated into the roster yet. But this is an AOR unit that will save your cavalry indeed. This 
is the Kasai Cataphracts. And look at these boys. Just look at them. How glorious a unit can you get? Oh my days. These are going to be an AOR unit for you. It's not fully worked out how this is going to work. So that's why they're over here with the Ptolemies, like I said. But glorious, glorious cataphracts. Cataphracts have to be some of my favorite units uh, in ancient history. They're just so glorious. So fantastic. So brutal and so strong. Oh, oh, fantastic. Very nice indeed. And I love the look of them. You know, I love these sort of quilted designs on these boys. Along with the quilted armor on the, uh, the horse as well. 16 morale. 14 melee attack. 13 alt attack, and a total defense of 27, 10 of which is armor, with a charge of 37. So these guys are your, your proper heavy cavalry option that you're gonna wanna, uh, wanna go, uh, going to want to get, if I can speak, uh, you know, when you get the chance to. Very nice indeed. Well, without further ado, let's, uh, let's play the battle, guys. And we are fighting the Bosporans, who we're going to be uh, facing off with next, uh, showing you next. So if you have enjoyed this, guys, that'd be great if you could leave a like. That'd be fantastic. And a subscribe, of course, if you uh, if you uh, uh, feel the need to. That'd be fantastic. Uh, but let's go fight the Bosporans. That is who we're going to be facing next. So let's go see. Hello, Bosporans. Oh, yes. Look at those boys. We'll have a little sneak preview. They look great in this desert map. I don't know why the Bosporans are out here in the desert, but they have come. To fight us all. Look at these boys. Bosporan archers. Very nice. A standard Bosporan. But this Bosporan cavalry. This is one of the coolest looking units I've seen in a long while. Look at these boys. Very nice. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, here come the cataphracts. I've not even noticed, bro. Um, I think we'll go get our elephants into them. It's probably the best option to kill them. You guys get there as well. Come on, Ellis. You know you want to, bro. The Bosporans do have the height advantage, which is a bit annoying, but let's get the Ellis down here. Oh, no. They get, there they go. They go for the charge. I mean, I think they could probably just shred through our spearmen here. Well, especially our swordmen, the Ptolemaic Machero Foroit. No, they go in for that. Let's try and surround them. Let's go. Go, go, go. Well done. Well done, uh, Phalangites. We know you're good against uh, cavalry. These guys have charged a Phalangite right in the face. That probably wasn't the great idea, Egypt, was it? And now we're screwed over here, aren't we? Ah, oh, goddamn. Here come the uh, Tanadaic. Oh, they've got cataphracts up here as well. That's not great. That's not great. That's not ideal, is it? And they're going to charge into the Matrimoy Swordsman. Uh, not charged quite yet. <laughs> right, boys. Let's get forward. This is going to be a hard job fighting the Bosporans. Because the Bosporans, in case you don't know, have a really nice roster. Really strong roster. Um, so we're just going to have to do what we can, really. Not every single unit of the Bosporans is in there. Because it's balanced in terms of the amount of units. Uh, but the Elephants seem to have done well. Who's this? Bosporan Cavalry. Get them. And let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Phalangites can move forward. Come on, Ellies. You know you love killing cavalry, don't you? Now let's get out. Get rid of... Get away from their Matroi Foroi. Let's get these guys up here if they can. This infantry can, can push forward. Elephants, come on, boys. Let's get out. Let's get out, like I said. Please. <laughs> Oh, someone's getting shredded. No, hold. Get your phalanx down. Why is your phalanx gone, boys? Keep the phalanx up. Now we've got our cavalry. Let's get around. And uh, let's go and take out. Let's go and see whether we can charge this massive mass in the back. You need to help out those boys. Let's go and kill all of those boys. And then let's get into the Tanaden Cataphract. Let's have a look at these boys. Nice. 
Come on, archers. Well, archers. Archer elephants. <laughs> Elef archers. Now, boys, let's charge in. Few of them are damaged now, aren't they? Now they're scared. They're really scared by what we're facing. That's so much better when we're actually in a phalanx, isn't it? Get the phalanx down, boys. Stop being silly. Oh, that's a bit of a shred. That's what I call a shred. Let's go. The Ellies are just, just going in ham, aren't they? We've lost an elephant, though. Oh, no. Dumbo. Dumbo's dead. No. And he's covered in mud. Well, anyway. Who cares? No one cares about Dumbo. Um, we tried to shred their... Uh, their archers and that. It's not really worked, has it? Oh, this elephant charge is glorious. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, poor Greek Oplites. <laughs> We've got the Bosporan infantry up here, which is a solid unit. So let's charge in with the elephant. <laughs> we pretty much just did all the damage with our elephants here. Oh, come on, boys. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not suggesting I would do this actually in a campaign because elephants are so valuable that you just don't want to lose them in campaign. The good thing is, though, of course, the more uh, as they die, it will still bring back more the, the same amount of elephants. Um, it will just remove the people on top of the elephants first. So as soon as you get back down to 12 elephants, um, once, once you're below 12 in this unit, that's when you'll actually start losing elephants. Uh, rather than the other way around. If that makes sense. I don't, I don't know whether that actually does make sense, to be honest. <laughs> now our Ellie's, our Ellie's are running. Not the elephants, boys. Not the elephants. Let's go for the Bosphorin Heavy Imp. These guys, you know, you don't need to be... We've chased them down a long time. <laughs> Mass cavalry charges always work as well. Let's go. Come on, boys. Sandwich them against the Phalanx. Nice. Nice. Everyone's getting in there. Get them as well. Then we need to kill the Bosporan infantry over here. So come on, Cav, let's go. We could go and fight them and it'd be great. There we are. Oh, there he's dead. Deaded! Yes! Oh, they God. Let's go kill the rest of them. Uh, well, you guys can actually go after these. They keep coming back. Stop coming back, boys. Ah, oh, there we are. They've gone. What a glorious battle, anyway. And what a fantastic roster. And a really cool system that's going to be impl implemented to get them. Can't wait uh, to showcase that to you guys when it's available. But the, <laughs> the Forest Elephants, 279. Pretty nice. Everyone else did pretty good as well. Swordsman doing really well. 89 there. Very nice indeed. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, please do like, subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.